so we're going to move on to recaps now. we got a lot to talk about. Uh, let's start with uh, Wee Bomb. Yeah, Wee Bay Bomb. Yeah. Um, it's sort of similar to the Clarence Bomb in that it's not... They're not taking advantage of the format like the way that Adventure Time and Steven do, but they can't because it's not that kind of show. So what it yeah. is is just we get to see five good episodes at once. Yeah. It's pretty great. Ha-ha! Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 okay. I am the yawn ghost! <laughs> <laughs> I am the yawn Oh, hold on. Beware. Okay, so we got Brother Up, in which Panda becomes the new leader. <laughs> and they have a stack fight with some wolves. That, that was, was hilarious. Great. And Charlie's back, and he was the best. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie's Charlie great. is now my favorite character. Um, and we got to see how much of a Korean weeaboo um, Panda is. With his karaoke skills, <laughs> you call him a we a Korea boo or a a Korea boo. We yeah, beer a boo. Well, I don't know. He's a Korea boo. A Korea bear. Korea, yes. Um, and that was fun. It was it was fun to see a little change in dynamic, and it was super cute. And that stack off was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, uh, the wolves at the bottom were like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie was yeah. wonderful. Uh, Priceless. And then we got Occupy Bears, where a bunch of, which to me was actually the most heartfelt of the five. I was yes. I was expecting it to be The Road, but it was actually, for me, Occupy Bears, where um, some construction just occurs on their cave, and they're going to build a cell phone tower. And because they're the government, they're allowed to do it. And so they're trying, the bears are trying to find proof of ownership for their home and prove that they've lived there for more than five years. Um, and, Which, you know. It's bullshit that if you live there for four years, you get to have your home destroyed. Yeah. But we also see flashbacks of them originally finding the cave of them trying to find lodging in San Francisco. Uh, and it'll be going real, 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 real bad. Oh my God. Yeah, like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Like, the, the first place being, like, this ridiculous, wonderful place, and then the next place being the, the worst. The first place is, like, Batman's apartment. Yeah. yeah. And then the second place is, like, fucking... The Joker's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And, you know, it, it's just really sweet, you know, them trying to find a home. Like, I don't know, and then protect your their home. I mean, it's a really simple concept, but it, it works because it's... I don't know, it's relatable, it's home. <laughs> and they're all they have, and they want to have a place to call their own. Um, yeah. And yeah, was... I mean, I mean, that's what Webebos has shown, that that's what it's bread and butter is, is taking very basic cartoon plots and injecting them with uh, a lot more heart than you than you usually see. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, you know, just like them sleeping in the cave before they make it their cave, and then waking up and then being like, this is the best place ever. <laughs> like, yeah. so cute. Although, although big suspension of disbelief that his shitty flip phone still turned on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, 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 like, if it was one of those Nokia bricks, maybe, but those didn't flip. Well, I don't know. I mean, my old phone still turns on. It's haunted. It's. <laughs> I mean, as the battery works, it turns on. Uh, then we got Panda sneeze. Where Panda does the panda sneeze. Yeah, like, this is the other thing We Bear, We Babos is about, is uh, making shows about, like, modern cult, making up, you know, stories about modern culture in a way that we're not, we're, like, really not equipped of seeing. You know, I'm, I continue to be disturbed by how well that they, how well they cover viral shit and have it not come off really hokey and, like, you did, the kids, hey, we're hip. Because it's written by people who also watch viral things. Like yeah, they written by it. a bunch of 24-year-olds. Yeah, they... Whoops. Yeah, so it's an episode about a literal goddamn vine uh, <laughs> of and referring to the f- the first viral video ever. <laughs> it's the first video on the internet. It was filmed by Thomas Edison. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and Nom Nom shows up and gets mad. And then Panda's mad because he doesn't want to be cute. He wants to be cool. But it's like, Panda, you're the cute one. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, Panda. Um, and then they have a cute off hijinks and Sue. He has a sneeze attack and it's not cute anymore. It's grody. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was really cute seeing um, Ice Bear and Grizz be so supportive and encouraging of Panda. Oh, that was one, that's one of my favorite Ice Bear moments. Ice Bear, do you think I'm cute? And then he just blushes. Aww. Aww. I love Ice I Bear. I love Ice Bear. Like, it, it, it was really cute seeing them be bestest brother friends and like love each other a lot. And then we got the... Very exciting, The Road, where they were all cubs, and we got to see their their origins, which was hinted at in um, Occupy Bears, where they, before they lived in San Fran, they lived in a box. Uh, in the desert. In the desert. <laughs> Baby Grizz is played by Sam Lavagnino, the, the cat bug. Cat bug I knew kid. one of them was cat bug. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of, what, I, I really went, one of these motherfuckers has to be cat bug. What's really interesting about that uh, you know, he's he was six when Bravest Warriors started. He's nine now. There's like a significant difference in his art- his ability to articulate. Yeah. So you wonder when whenever season three of Bravest Warriors sh- happens, which keep in mind it's been over a year. Yep. Uh, it has. It has. It'll be interesting to see how how Catbug plays out because like he can't do the same, like. Well, I, I don't know. It's probably going to be a different type of performance. Yeah, I mean, I was, I wasn't as like inundated with the cute because it was more that age where instead of the kids are just they scream everything they say, <laughs> and it wasn't cute. It was just kids screaming everything they'd say. So I was like, oh, well, it's realistic, but it, it yeah. doesn't make me go, aw. It like, kind of gives I, me a I headache. Like, yeah, it wasn't hard. the cute. song they sang. The, har- that was the song was really cute. And there, there was a lot of cute stuff in it. Oh, definitely. I mean, they it were was... definitely very cute. The whole box land was <laughs> super fun. Like, how far they Although, went what? Who was that? Like, I hope he's, de- I hope he's canonically dead. <laughs> That motherfucker who stole their box. I literally hope he was murdered that same day. <laughs> I, I want one of I want one of the showrunners to come on and be like, "Oh yeah, he got stabbed. He fell in an I ant hole." Read that tweet. Yeah, though it is in a fire ant pit and he got deboned. Though it is interesting that Ice Bear didn't say anything, so I guess like the implication is that he didn't start talking until later. And he still hasn't gotten the hang of talking all the time. Like, just that's just not his thing. Because nope. I was waiting to hear his little voice, but he never spoke. I was waiting. For I his... was waiting for him to just be Dimitri. Martin. I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> his very pragmatic house. It's just a solid box of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Bear's the best. And speaking of Ice Bear, the next episode was Emergency, which is <laughs> the funniest one. <laughs> on the ear by a crab and these three idiots try to get him to the hospital. <laughs> Ice Bear was very interesting in this episode because, you know, in the beginning it's, you know, he's he's trying to have his quiet Ice Bear time in his cold box. In his ice box. And Grizz and Panda bother him. The crab bites him on the ear. He has a hilarious reaction. <laughs> Where he just kind of starts waddling and, like, hitting everything and, like, <laughs> being hilarious and just, you know, and the, the whole episode he's trying to get to a cool place because I guess he just, he's a, he's a polar bear. Like, he needs to be in cool places sometimes. But like, most times. Most times. It, it, it was just really interesting seeing his behavior, like, where he was, like, in... Um, uh, like in stress like he had he had a conflict yeah you he's know? normally yeah, very he was, unflappable he was bugging out yeah like he was very unhappy like you could he was which is part of I guess why Grizz and Panda were like what's going on because he wasn't acting like we normally think of him where like you, you kind of don't have to pay that much oh. attention to him and he'll take care of stuff oh to back up a bit 
uh, uh, Panda Sneeze was the first one of these episodes to have a B plot. And normally, eleven minute cartoons don't have B plots because that doesn't make any sense. But <laughs> Panda built a robot clone of himself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just in the background for most of the episode that he did this thing and it got loose and started rampaging. Mm-hmm. Oh, I swear. That's a Wee Bay Bomb. You know, I really like this show. It's not, you, you know, part of me says it's not changing, you know, the game the way that a lot of shows are. But like, I really do think its approach to modernity is something. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I, th- you know, it is something that we need. Cause it's we have so it- shocking. Yeah, we, we haven't had a show in a while that's, like, about the status quo. Yeah, you know? but, like, about, like... It's what's like, current. Yeah, like, so many shows, like... I've Even as a kid, I felt this, like... This is, like, how it was when the when the people who made the show were kids. Yeah. Like, elementary schools with lockers, that's not a fucking thing. No. And I, I think part of the reason why this works is it's a show about young adults made by young adults. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, it, it, it works. You know, it's it's very honest. It's very real. It's not pretentious. It makes fun of itself. And, like, it's cute. Like, it's it's just really good at doing what it does. You know? And I and I quite enjoy it. Right, um, and then there was a Steven. The last <laughs> Steven of 2015. <laughs> and... <Oof>. Okay. <laughs> This was so low in Zook, it was so gay. <laughs> this is called Too Far. And it as we knew by the uh the title card that we saw coming, it this is Amethyst this is Peridot and Amethyst. And them actually kinda of getting along before Peridot goes <gasps> uh, too far. Well was it really getting along? Amethyst was just having fun with her. Not like yeah. not fun. Having fun at they, her. At her. They, were co- they were coexisting at Peridot's expense. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it, it, it opens with... Um, they're continuing the construction of the drill. Uh, Peridot, you know, isol- makes a comment about Garnet. Garnet ties her up like a child. Yeah. It was a, it was a homophobia parallel. Yeah. People. Yep. And then Amethyst is like, let's have some fun with Peridot. Cause she doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Peridot's dumb. Let's go laugh at Peridot. Hey, Peridot. What's a butt? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I saw a, a, a Tumblr post, though. It's like, in a previous episode, she did call feet feet. So. Yeah. So yeah. here she was just like trying to impress Amethyst. <laughs> yeah, because I, because like I, I, I made a tweet that the whole point of the episode was like, you know, Peridot, like all conscious living beings in the universe, she just wants Ameth- Amethyst <laughs> to think she's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she noticed, like, you know, Amethyst says that she's funny. She's like, oh, she thinks I'm funny. That's a good thing. And we, we know, you know, they go to the kindergarten to get a drill bit, and they later we later learn the reason why she cares is because courts are very are pretty high on the gem caste system, which geologically speaking, I guess makes sense because what I learned in my class is that it, they actually take some of the longest time to actually form all the way compared to other things, ah. um, which also makes sense with amethyst because. It takes a long longer to form than everything else, since she probably just took longer to form. Uh, geology at rocks. rocks. <laughs> she uh, said instead of g- g- genetics, she says gemetics. Yep, mm, I love that. Gemetically, shit. gemetically speaking, <laughs> oh. I love that so much. Oh. Uh, so you know, paradox basically you know does what we all expected. All of you guys are fucking freaks. But you're the less, you're the least freak. You're just short. You're just short and defective and small. And you know, it, you know, Amethyst, of course, is like the fuck. What do you what, no? And you know, that's the too far where you know. Don't make fun of me. Yeah, don't make fun of me. You can make fun of Garnet <laughs> and Steven and call Steven a, 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 
I don't know what that is even supposed to be kind of stuff, but if you make fun of me, it's, it's not okay. I'm Amethyst. <laughs> what are you doing? And, and, you know, Perry Dot thought she was being funny. She thought she was doing what she was yeah. supposed to be doing. And she yeah. wanted Amethyst's favor because, again, apparently she should. she's the highest ranking gem out of all of them. Yeah, she, she's, she's basically, like, groveling in a sense. Yeah. Like, especially towards the very end, she just starts, like, she just starts, like, guessing guessing her own bit. And, like, she's like, see, I, I called it this instead of the other thing. Like, aren't I? I'm so fucking funny. <laughs> 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 oh, Peridot. Beautiful. Um, the voice recorder, the, the tape on the, the, like, the label on the tape is, it says, keep out, and then a bunch of exclamation points, and then a little picture of an alien like a gray head. Uh, <laughs> that's Lauren Zook's av- uh, current Twitter avatar. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. We do return to what Jasper said about calling Amethyst an overcooked runt. And that, you know, she is supposed to be way Jasper better. Jasper sized. Was... I mean, Jasper's are also quartz. So presumably she was supposed to be like, look like Jasper. That's why they can both do the sonic spin dash. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're going to mass mass manufacture like a warrior people you want it to be the biggest you can get yeah and like you know even amethyst said you look steven i'm a gem warrior like that's she's was designed to be a fighter and she, even she knows that and i mean she's still a really good fighter she's just compact <laughs> <laughs> and you know they make up of course in a very in sweet very, way yeah you know peridot saves amethyst you know at, at this point we're not sure if it's because she I mean, she she wants Amethyst to like her, so we're not, you know we don't know if it's her like actually being like I kind of care about these people a little bit, but or you know I am just I don't know. She's still trying to figure it out herself, honestly. So yeah, because it's very like it's because like it, I feel like maybe she's interpreting it as like something Stockholmy because she's like you know I've already. Like, I've already betrayed the homeworld. Like, I'm fucked, so I might as well try to coexist with these people. But I'm really bad at it, and now I feel yeah. bad. <laughs> I'm dumb. And it was it was very cute. Very sweet and cute. Again, like, really great, like, relationship sort of stuff. A, a, sol- a, a solid episode. See you next year. Yeah, see you next yeah. year <laughs> to find out what's gonna happen with the cluster. Whoa. Apparently most uh, cartoon network uh shows are gonna take a hiatus like i think adventure time is coming back at least for the the special but everybody's making way for daddy to come home there was no we bear bears this week uh after the bear bomb there's no clarence either i was kind of hoping that that meant clarence was gonna come back no dice so i don't know uh, there was, however, a short that went up the day before oh, we're yes. recording. I haven't seen it. I just found out about it. But it's I got did Jamie. see it. It's very cute. It's got Jamie in it, so I really want to watch it. Yeah. As somebody <laughs> who watches a lot of YouTube. Unboxing per- videos. Unboxing for- videos. I find them, like, p- fucking. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do not do, get it. I'm not trying to justify it i don't know why i like these things i guess it's because i feel like i'm unboxing it and i'm getting cool <laughs> stuff i don't have to buy any of this shit now <laughs> uh, it's it's very cute um let's get into housekeep uh shout outs what do we daniel jve is very happy about our uh october glad was excited for danny phantom i hope you like it what we said Hope you're not mad <laughs> that we were a little more critical. We, um, it's because we love it. It's because we love it. And then they suggest um, some stuff for us to do for next Halloween or Japanuary, a show called Jikoku Shoujo or Hell Girl. And then they also mentioned that, yes, people do use Facebook. He says at my college in the Philippines, we pretty much use Facebook for all announcements and file sharing, instant messenger Stuff like that. And we use it more than, say, Twitter because, you know, you're 15 hours ahead of t- yeah. California time zone. So it makes more sense. So, haha, people do use Facebook. I'm glad I made it. Thank you. Um, and they also asked if we plan on covering any web series before the end of the year. I Before don't... the end of the year, no, but certainly Probably next not. year. 
Yeah, we'll definitely. We'll do some stuff next year. I mean, we've done it before. Um, I mean, Bravest Warriors. Did we ever do any other web series? No, I don't think we... Uh, No. No, I don't think we have. We were, su- we were supposed to do be in Puppy Cat, but... That, yeah, we expected that, that, that to, ha- that to finish. That didn't happen. Um, it did the opposite of finish. I and, just, you know, one of these days we're going to do Homestar. One of these days we're going to do uh, Blamimations. Oh, by the way, uh, they did a, a teaser for a, a Halloween cartoon today, so we're guaranteed to get one by the end of the month. Yay. Woo! Uh, Josh, again, said loved Halloween month, um, and again, wanted to suggest stuff like the Scooby-Doo movies. Uh, Including Zombie oh. Island, which scared the shit out of me as a kid. Zombie Island's a good one. The Witch's Ghost, which I think had Another the uh, Hex Girls. Yeah! Uh, uh, Coraline, Paranorman, Courage. Um, really excited about Danny Phantom. Hope you liked it. Uh, uh, they asked if we're going to do more Miyazaki movies. Probably well, The intention is to do all of them. Yeah, of course. And because the only one we've done so far is... Uh, Caliostra, we might do it in an order, but I don't want to commit to that. Nah, no. just do it how we feel it. Yeah. Um, at Corazon Unicorn says, uh, would you consider doing a show on foreign films that have been dubbed, such as Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart? I've heard of that movie. I don't know much about it. I, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we've done foreign films in that they're Japanese, but yeah, it doesn't have to, other languages are cool. Too. Yeah, I think we need to maybe try to make more of an effort to do that, I guess. Superfan Blue T32 uh, hates Tooch now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What for? Okay, I was going to save that for last, but okay, we'll do oh. it. <laughs> so, uh, aw man, at the Toon Goons, Tooch just murdered my heart. Nikki's my new number one goon now since Nina's in a league of her own. What did I do? I, you well, hated You hated Hotel Transylvania. Oh, you were very well, I don't care it. then. Well, earlier, uh, Kasa- uh, at Miss Disney Ch- Chick was like, hey guys, my best friend Blue T32 just showed me you guys. You got a new fan. I was like, yay. But then the second tweet she made was um, at the two goons, congrats on breaking my friend's heart. <laughs> Looks like Blue T32 and I will be watching Hotel T to gain back some happiness. And then <laughs> Blue T32 was like, what the fuck? I leave Twitter for for dinner and then this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but I, I, I love Blue T's ranking in that Nikki's her favorite, Tooch isn't her favorite, and Nina's in a league of her own. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, we're sorry we didn't like the movie. Uh, it had like I dude like I there was a lot of things we did like about it. <laughs> I liked half of it, but the half of it I liked had nothing to do with the story or anything I was hearing coming out of people's mouths. Yeah, I and mean, if you love it, go for it. Like yeah, man, I don't can't. care. Don't give a shit about what we think. Fucking do your thing. And then Tyler Pollock uh, recommended our Hotel Transylvania t- episode to cartoonist Kate Leth because she. Uh, also thought the plot of moral was bullshit. Yeah. So maybe she'll listen. She she wrote a uh, for the Bravest Warriors comics for like a good chunk, and also did a couple, I think two of the Adventure Time no- uh, graphic novels. Very cool. Cool. At zeros me uh, said I've got the hookup for trashy paranormal romance urban fantasy novels. Get that PO box set up, you guys. Oh boy. <laughs> I we can't. should do that. We should do that before Christmas. <sighs> You greedy fuck. Spooky d- said. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to figure out what they were trying to do, even though it was obvious. Um, love your show. Listen all the time. Uh, they suggest that we start putting time codes in for news, main, recap, shout outs, so on. For that, I suggest you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Where we'll have all that those is. segments broken up conveniently for you. Yep. And uh, and the descriptions will also be what we recapped. Uh, the, I, I have I have scheduled them to start going up November. It's happening. I have I have committed myself to it. Happy so Thanksgiving to you. Yeah. Get get a get stuff that turkey with with 
thumbnails I've quickly has- hashed together with cutout images of the cartoons we're talking about. Oh boy, why did I make a thumbnail for each individual episode? Um, Dante's Fire just thanked us for, you know, answering their question about Chosen. Of course, it was a fun discussion. Uh, thank you for asking. And it helped fill out the, the time on an otherwise kind of anemic episode. Definitely. <laughs> uh, this uh, is really cool. Lantern King uh, sent us a piece of news where at their school, Scat Atlanta, there was a presentation on the good dinosaur, and the person running the presentation, Sanjay Bak- Bakshi, uh, said that they finished the movie on the 13th of October. So 10 days before now, and like a literal month before the release Ugh. date. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Sanjay Bakshi is um, the director of the short. Um, Sanjay. Oh, oh, that 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 thing I'm, that I'm really looking forward to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that sounds super cool. <laughs> Way to go, Scad. Here's one I really want to talk about. Uh, Selecki said, uh, "Hello, I'm a f- new fan of your podcast. I've been trying to catch up, but I watched Parasite a while back and couldn't resist hearing about it from you. Thanks for the insightful discussion. Also, Gamera is the friend of all children. Thanks for the <laughs> clarification. Yeah. I have an unrelated question. I'm not sure." This is, I haven't listened to all your episodes yet, but have or will you touch on Lolly Rock at all? I looked up what Lolly Rock is, and it is the Frenchest fucking thing I've ever seen. And by Frenchest, I don't mean like baguettes and impressionism. It's <laughs> it's a pseudo anime, quote unquote, girl power <gasps> action cartoon. In I which, love it immediately. In, in which the the main cast of girls has a Sonic Team ass primary color scheme, and they're magical princesses from another planet who form a pop band. I guess in France. I and need it, this in my. It looks life. really cute. I don't know if it's the kind of thing that I would like, but I... It's, yes, you it's would. A, it's Shut the, up. Have a little friend who's like a purple space cat. It is the culmination of all French animation. It's beautiful. I love it. French animation just wants to be anime. It's official. It's fucking official. Everything they do is just anime now. It just wants to be Sailor Moon. Well, not just this, It wants to be Sailor like, Moon, it wants to be Gem, it wants to be everything. Well, not just this one show, but, like, all the shit they've been putting out lately, all these joint efforts with Japanese studios, the fucking Ladybug show, Astro Boy, Little Witch Academia, all that shit. They just, they just want to be anime now. And I'm Code Lyoko. F- Code Lyoko. I'm fine Even, even Totally Spies took a lot of anime yeah. beats. Even Totally Spies, and it's interminable, in- execrable sister show martin mystery <laughs> that is probably the worst cartoon i've ever seen yeah french cartoons that just want to be anime it's official get over it Fr- you frenchies thought <laughs> the stereotype is the frenchies think they're the best uh this looks awesome and i love it thank you for telling me about it <laughs> yeah. um and last we've got um uh roger who you know stumbled upon our site looking for podcasts he works for a factory, and he was moved to a mandatory 10-hour days and needed to find something to help him pass the time. And so he found our podcast, and it helped him out. And I'm really happy, because <laughs> that, that yes. sounds like the pits. Oof. Um, and they they own a forum, a cartoon forum, so it was really up their alley. And then, you know, they would like us to talk about Hey Arnold more, <laughs> because it's... The best show. The best show ever. And I'm yeah, like, uh, it is the best show. The forum is called uh, Generation Z dot, okay, G-C-I-N-K dot net. So check that out if that's what you're up in to. Yeah. Uh, next month, we're going on the closest thing to a vacation that we've ever taken and that we're only doing movies next month. We, You know, we need a bit of a break from Slam Jam and TV shows, but we're still going to make four episodes next month so you'll be getting the same amount of content and frankly it'll be easier for you to keep up with us yeah what are you guys gonna do with your vacation homework thesis i figured teach um start a webcomic i'm gonna catch up on turtles <sighs> oh yeah you should do oh, that. oh that's a good idea Turtles should do that too and catch up on turtles maybe rewatch clone high Oh yeah! Oh, over the garden wall, duh! Oh yeah! Well, oh yeah! That, wow! That's required. Goes with. If you listen to this show and you don't watch Over the Garden Wall every November, fuck off! <laughs> All right. Seriously, uh, eat my butt. <laughs> okay, 
So for November, what we've got, uh, the Iron Giant, which works because they re recently had its um, the special edition a limited screening, and the new DVD came out with the added scenes, including a special um, documentary about the making of the film. So I actually highly suggest we, we try to buy the Blu-ray and watch the documentary as along with the um, talking yeah. about the film itself, because that yeah. would give yeah. a new angle. Chicken Run, we haven't talked about any stop motion really yet. Yes, we have uh -oh. box trolls. Whoops! <laughs> Uh, this is not the first time you've forgotten. I'm sorry. I forget You're things. on thin fucking ice, lady. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, Fantastic <laughs> Mr. Fox and The Good Dinosaur, which should be coming out in November. Uh, another movie coming out in November is going to be the Peanuts movie, but I think we'll move that to December, because I always think of Peanuts, Peanuts is, yeah, super and Christmas Christmas and yeah. Yeah. What do you guys want to start with? Let's say Mr. Fox. Yeah. Okay. Fox works for me. Uh, Mr. Fox, and we'll figure out the order for the rest of those. Uh, we have to look up the release date of Last Dinosaur. That'll probably be the last one of the month. Yeah. And then Iron Giant, yeah. we, got, we got to get a hold of that. So let's say Fox, Chicken, Giant, Dinosaur. Works for me. The four animals that there the are. The craziest chimera ever conceived by man. Let's see. <laughs> Gross. Fox, chicken, giant, dinosaur. Okay, uh, ways to contact us and make this real quick because we're going very long. Uh, <laughs> our main website is our Tumblr, thetungoons.tumblr.com. You can find all the shit there. The other shit is our Twitter, at thetungoons. Our email, thetungoons at gmail.com. Our YouTube, which is slash thetungoons podcast. Yes. Our SoundCloud slash the dash tunes dash goons you can find us on itunes please rate and subscribe that'd be super duper great of you and that's all of them i've been nikki i've been nina and the animator survival kit i've been tooch <laughs> uh, I've... it's a book i know it took I... me a while and i was like what oh it's a book <laughs> It's a book. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>